Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living and today I'm going to be going over to my daughter's house and replacing a light switch uh, in a mobile home. These are called the self-contained light switches and they're a little different than a regular light switch in a house and so I'm going to take you with me and show you how to do it and uh, y'all come on, we'll have to do that. Okay, today I'm going to be replacing a light switch. This is in a mobile home. Uh, it belongs to my daughter and her husband. And these are the type switches that are called self-contained switches. There will not be a box on the inside of the wall. The problem that we have with this particular one, the switches, switch plates do not have any screws on them. They're supposed to just snap right in, but we've already checked this one, and someone used glue on both sides and have it glued down, so it, uh, it's going to be hard to get off. I'm going to either have to break it or cut it. So let me get started, and we'll see what happens. I'm going to just take and hold the plate out with my screwdriver, and run the edge of my knife down through there and try to cut that glue. If it don't cut, I'm just gonna go ahead and break it. And it's not cutting. They really got this one glued on, so I'm just going to go ahead and break this one off. Uh, also, I want to mention that I have already turned the electricity off at the panel box, so there's no electricity at this point here. Okay, this one's really glued on there in several different points, so I'm just going to go ahead and put some pressure on it, and if it don't break, I'm going to break it. Okay, I got it broke. If you can see over on the far side over here, that's where they filled it full of glue. Okay, got that off. Once you get that off, you can just use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen these two screws up it's got a it's got a little lock that turns inside there once you get loosened up it should pull right on out Okay, gonna have to get that lug to gonna have to get that little lug to turn down. The lug is point up right now. Okay, got that one. Okay, let me get this other lug to turn. Okay, there's one lug turned. Okay, got the lugs turned, so it's coming out now. Hopefully they left me a little bit of slack so I can work with this. They didn't leave too much slack, and with this being right beside the other one, get turned around here so you can see it. Okay, so that's all there is inside the wall. So I'm going to snap this piece off. Take the wires loose and put the new switch on. They 
covered the locks up with the glue. Mm. There we go. Okay, so it has four points here. Once you get them unsnapped, that piece will come on off. Okay, now these wires do not have screws to hold them down. They just slide into these uh, connectors. So you got to be very, very careful that when you remove them, that you know where you're going to put the wires back and get the wires back in the right spot. Okay, those two are the outputs. And this one here is the uh, hot wire coming in from the panel box. Okay, and luckily we have enough slack here that I don't have to worry about it going back inside there on me. Okay, so this is my this is my new switch. I'm going to go ahead and put in, this is the input coming from the panel box. Push it down in there first. They're a little tight pushing down. Okay, that's the input. This is one of the output legs. Okay, then we got one more output leg here that we're going to put on there. Okay, so I've got, got all my wires hooked back to it. It's a little more difficult than doing a regular electrical switch inside of a house. Okay, let me, this is the little plate that covers the wires up. Okay, this back plate is a little difficult to get snapped in, but got the top snapped in. And the bottom, let me put a little pressure on that so to hold that wire in there good and tight. That's what it takes right there. Have to bend that little tab out just a little bit so it holds your wires in place. Okay, and what we're going to do before we actually turn this, uh, before I put it back in the wall, we're going to turn the electricity on and see if it works. And if it does, then I'm going to put it back in the wall. Uh, Jason, can I get you to flip the yep. main breaker for me? Alright, 
Okay, I just turned it on and lights are working. Okay, Jason, turn that main breaker off again. Okay, okay it is working, so now we'll put the, the box back inside the wall. You have to take the little tabs here and push both tabs downward so that when it goes in the wall, as you tighten up the screws, it will tighten up against the sheetrock and hold it in place. I'm going to go ahead and bring this tab up just a little bit. Okay. And then the bottom tab, I'll do the same thing to it. Okay, see if we can get back in the wall now. Okay, that bottom one's a little tough there with two uh, wires on it. Get this and started tightening up first. Okay, now work on the bottom a little bit. Bottom one's tightening up good. Let's see if we can get this top one to tighten up. As you continue to turn this screw, it'll pull that tab up to the back of the sheetrock and it'll hold it in place. Okay, there we go. It's locked in now. Make sure the bottom one's good and tight. Okay. Now let me get a wall plate to put on there. This is the new wall plate. Jason, what was the name of the company that y'all ordered these parts from? These parts are a little bit hard to find the, locally. Uh, mobile home store. But they ordered them online from a place called the mobile home store okay now this is the plate that goes on and it's got the two little tabs top and bottom and when it works like it's supposed to all you gotta do is push it up there and snap it in but when people have problems with them they use all that glue and glue them on which makes them hard to get off we're going to see if we can just snap these in and be finished there we go that's finished. I'll get Jason to turn the power back on. And we don't have much light in here. If I get in front of it, it blocks the light. I'm hoping you can see the video okay. Okay, Jason, you got the power back on? Yeah, so. Okay. I'm going to turn off this little light we had. Made it a little darker. Now I'm going to flip it on and see if it comes up. Okay, yes, that came on. That's working. Okay, that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it helps you if you need to replace a receptacle or a light switch in a mobile home. This is the process that you have to go through to replace them. They're a little more difficult than in a regular house. But uh, this is the steps you need to follow to get it done. Thanks for watching. Everyone have a great day. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here